Good morning. This is Akashwani Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Yantan. Election Commission yesterday reviewed preparedness for the fifth and sixth phase of Lok Sabha polls. Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar along with Election Commissioners Kyanesh Kumar and Supir Singh Santu held a video conference meeting with observers being deployed in 49 parliamentary constituencies for fifth phase and 57 parliamentary constituencies for the fifth, sixth phase of the general elections 2024. The fifth phase of the Lok Sabha polls will be held on 20th of this month and the sixth phase will be held on 25th of May. A delegation of BJP comprising of party leaders and union ministers as Jai Shankar, G. Kishan Reddy, Arjun Ram Mekwal and Rajiv Chandrasekhar yesterday lodged their complaint with the Election Commission over alleged violation of Murdoch Code of Conduct by Congress and the INDIA bloc leaders. Speaking to media, Dr. Jai Shankar said the delegation placed before the commission 22 such examples and demanded to take action. He said the delegation has filed complaint against Congress leader Rahul Gandhi for his alleged objectionable remarks against Indian armed forces. Congress has demanded a repoll in eight booths under Barampur Lok Sabha constituency in West Bengal. The West Bengal Pradesh Congress Committee has written a letter to the Chief Electoral Officer highlighting false and proxy voting by the ruling party. Eastern Nagaland People's Organization (ENPO) has written to the State Election Commissioner (SEC) about their collective decision to abstain from participating in the upcoming urban local body elections scheduled for June 26. In a letter to the SEC, ENPO said that the people of Eastern Nagaland under its ages had on March 19, 2024, reaffirmed their commitment to the Chen Moho resolution wherein it was resolved not to participate in any central or state elections due to the delay to create the Frontier Nagaland Territory FNT as offered and assured by the Ministry of Home Affairs on December 7, 2023. ENPO said the Eastern Nagaland people felt compelled to take the course of action as a means of expressing their collective discontentment the letter explained reminding that their decision to abstain from participating in any central or state electoral process should not be be taken lightly the ENPO said that it reflected the sentiments and aspirations of the Eastern Nagaland people who had tirelessly advocated for their rights and aspirations within the framework of democratic governance ENPO also clarified that their stance should not be misconstrued as opposition to the Nagaland Municipal Act 2023 with 33% reservation for women. The organization said it remained hopeful that both the central and the state governments would notice the concerns and take concrete steps towards addressing the long-standing issue of the FNT. Further, ENPO requested the Chief Electoral Officer to take note of the decision and make necessary arrangements to accommodate the abstention from the upcoming ULP elections in the state. The organization, while expressing its gratitude to the SEC, conveyed its willingness to provide more details if required without any delay. Union Home Minister Amit Shah has lauded a decision to grant a citizenship under the Citizenship Amendment Rules 2024. In a social media post, Shah termed it as a historic day, saying that today the wait of decades has ended. He said Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Parsi and Christian brothers and sisters who came to India from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan due to religious persecution have started getting Indian citizenship. Mention may be made that Centre yesterday issued the first set of citizenship certificates to 14 applicants under Citizenship Amendment Rules 2024. India's biggest skill competition, the India Skills 2024, has started yesterday in New Delhi. Over the next four days, more than 900 students from 30 states and union territories will showcase their skills in 61 different areas from traditional crafts to the latest technologies. Skill Development Secretary Adul Kumar Diwari, who inaugurated the opening ceremony, called it a win-win situation for both the youth as well as industries. 
winners of India Skills with the help of the best industry trainers will prepare for the World Skills Competition scheduled to take place in Lyon, France in September this year. The World Skills will have 1,500 competi- competitors from over 70 countries. The event aims to emphasize the significance of skill development in nation building. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.